This showdown between Apple and Google now, you know, the iPhone and Android, really comes down to the open versus closed debate. Evil versus good, maybe. Eh, eh. I don't know. I, I kind of like the way that a lot of closed systems work. I'm not saying they should take over the world, but, you know. Your fascist tendencies don't honestly surprise me. <laughs> open. It fosters innovation. I mean, if you think about the backbone of the Internet, the Internet itself was built on an open system. Um, what, what we're talking about here is kind of hardware and software and how closely coupled they are. And For example, Apple. I mean, I, I don't know why I can't run Apple software on other people's hardware. I would love to do that, but for some reason, it's not allowed. And, you know, why can't I do that? I would love to do that. Yeah, you think you would love to do that, but I love the fact that when I get my Mac, it just sort of works, right? Apple doesn't have to worry about, okay, well, there's 57 different configurations of hardware out there, so when we come out with an OS update, we've got to make sure all that works. You know, we got a noodle with a whole bunch of driver stuff. They don't have, you know, Windows Vista-type issues because it's sort of streamlined and locked down. Are there disadvantages? A few, but, you know, if you want super open, you can get your Ubuntu laptop and go to town, <laughs> right? <laughs> or or, or play flash, with Vista. I can flash my own kernel. Is that what you're asking me to do? Um, I, uh, fine. I, but, but I think Apple knows very well that, you know, hardware manufacturers could make it work. And in fact, you know, some knockoff folks tried to do that for a little while um, out of Taiwan and got slapped down immediately. So I don't think it's a question of, like, Apple wanting to control the experience. They want to control the money. I'll, I'll agree there. Let's move to the App Store, though. How come I can't get whatever application I want on my iPhone or soon to be on my iPad? I mean, it goes through Apple's little constricted uh, marketplace, and Steve Jobs gets his cut of everything. You know, there's this whole Flash debate. Um, why won't Flash run on the new iPad or on an iPhone, for that matter, or at least not very well? Um, and that's because they wouldn't, if you're a Flash developer, you wouldn't have to go through the App Store. And so, you know, Android is offering this marketplace, um, Google's mobile OS, where, you know, I can just put it up there and the market can, de can decide whether they want it or not. You know, it's funny that we complain about this with digital products, but nobody says, oh, well, how come I can't buy a Big Mac at Burger King? Well, it's because McDonald's <laughs> sells the things, right? And if you want a Big Mac, go to McDonald's. If you want to shop at Burger King, get yourself a Whopper. And, and I think it kind of works the same way with the iPhone. When the iPhone came out, it was the most open phone we'd ever seen. It had a real web browser. You could run web apps in it. And that was what Apple originally intended, was just web apps. Right. But then developers said, oh, no, we want more control. We want more options. We want to sell stuff. And Apple said, okay, we'll build you an app store. We'll, we'll make sure it works. So it has to be a little closed. It has to be secure. You know, we're going to be sure that there's not porn out there to, you know, frighten your kids. Right? So they put some restrictions around it. But that's their prerogative. It's a store. Right? Well, okay. But once we have a taste of freedom, I think we want more. And once you get used to it, you know, that's what you want. And so the iPad, for example, will be a really good test of this. The iPhone OS, as we know, is going to be, you know, behind the iPad. And it's that same closed world. And I think the iPad will be a good test because we, we were used to our computers being more or less open. Um, you know, Apple aside, if you're a PC person, you're used to doing whatever you want. Our phones, um, as they become more PC-like, I think, we're going to want them to be more open. So I think this whole iPhone OS, um, even from developers' perspective, it's going to become sort of an island that increasingly becomes too restrictive, um, and people are going to look for other choices. The iPad is a great test on both fronts. On the hardware-software issue, it's an Apple chip. Uh, on an Apple designed hardware with the Apple OS, they all tie together. You know, Apple App Store, you've got no choice, take it or leave it. Right. And then on the App Store end, the only real way to get apps onto the thing is to go through Apple. I say, great, right? You know, <laughs> it's, it's a completely Apple defined experience. If you like it, go with it. If you don't like it, wait for somebody else to copy it and open it up a little bit more. I think closed is great for innovation because folks like Apple show the way to do it, and then others can try to copy it. I think open is the way for innovation, but Mr. Mussolini and I will uh, <laughs> debate this for ages, uh, as, as everyone in the tech world has, and uh, there'll be more.